Well, here from Four Guys Guns. Today we're back with Nick at Weaponcraft's new facility and he's gonna give us something we call the anatomy of the reload. Today we're gonna go over pistols. Pistol reloads are a little bit different than everything else and what do you think is the main thing you see most times with people in their pistol reloads when you're trying to teach or train? Uh, the two biggest mistakes I see are one, people are trying to reload their pistol while they're looking at their shoelaces, which doesn't really do us any good. And also they don't have their magazines oriented in a way that is conducive with them getting a reload done correctly. And what I mean by that is sometimes they put them rounds facing to the rear, sometimes the rounds are facing forward. So they get up here and they kind of have to jumble them around. There are some really simple ways where we can take care of that all together and we just have a nice consistent reload. So Nick's just gonna take us through the basic mechanics of it and how to get there. You know, FGG members, of course, we encourage you to get in front of an actual instructor and do it in person, but Nick's gonna walk us through so we can actually get some stuff to practice while we're at home before we go and take that leap. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. I'd like to talk to you guys about the speed reload. The first thing I wanna talk about is setting ourselves up for success with our gear. And what I mean by that is how we have our magazines oriented within our gear. There are two different ways that you can do it and one way that really makes sense. When we talk about it, we talk about either round spacing forward or round spacing away. And it's gonna be upside down. So how I'll tell my students is, I wanna see your magazines with the rounds, tip of the round oriented towards your belt buckle. What that's gonna allow you to do is when you reach down to grab that new magazine, you index that magazine by running your index finger along the front of the mag. It's gonna allow you to insert it in the gun and it's always gonna be facing in the right direction. Whereas I see a lot of students, they set themselves up for failure by one is going one way, one is going the other way. So they're getting no consistency out of their training. So that's a very basic thing. Set your magazines up with the round spacing towards your belt buckle. The speed reload is a reload that we're gonna do when we are actively engaged in something, whether it be a drill or even out on the street, and our magazine goes dry, our gun is empty. Our whole goal in life at that point is to get a new mag in the gun as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that gun into our workspace. And we've talked about workspace in a few of the other videos. I'm gonna eject the magazine and I'm gonna let that magazine hit the ground. I'm not gonna worry about retaining it. This is not the time to do that. My whole concern, like I just said, is that I need to get a new mag in the gun. I'm gonna index my magazine by running it up the front of the magazine and insert it into the magazine well. From that point, I have two different ways that I can send that pistol home because we're gonna assume that it's in slide lock because I ran the weapon dry. I can either hit the slide release on the left side of the pistol and that's gonna force the gun home. That's usually the more quicker manner or I can come over the top and do a slingshot method where I'm putting the palm on the slide, wrapping four fingers, and charge the gun back into battery. From there, I can present back out of my target and finish whatever I needed to do. So here's a quick demonstration of all the things I just talked about. Okay guys, I hope that video cleared some things up as far as speed reloading your gun. Now, remember, bullets forward, bullets rearward, there's a million ways to skin a cat. If that way works for you, fantastic. If it doesn't, continue to do what you're doing. This is just a tried and true method that I've carried with my career that's been successful for me. Uh, something to remember, this is a super perishable skill. The manipulation of a handgun is far more difficult than actually shooting the gun. So make sure you practice this stuff. This is a great thing that you can practice in your basement. Use some snap caps. Again, like always, make sure you're taking the proper safety precautions. Make sure there's no live ammunition. You're clearing out the guns and the uh, snap caps or dummy bullets you're using are in fact dummy bullets. Okay guys, good luck with that and we'll see you out there on the range.